Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a questions and answer session for the new version of Windows 10 that is coming, um, that is actually out since yesterday, October 20th, 2020, version 20H2 or what is the um, October 2020 update. So a lot of questions from users. Um, one is, once again, should I back up my files? And you know, this is a question that you should never ask anyway, because backing up is something you have to do. It's not because there's a new version of Windows you got to back up. You just got to back up. You will lose your files someday if you don't back up because there are hardware problems. Your hard drive could crash. Uh, and you lose everything. It's that that's not even a question of uh, should I back up or not before a Windows update. It's uh, a, simply a question that you need to back up. That's all. If you don't understand that you need to back up, you will lose your file someday because it's you have to back up. That's just something you have to do, and that's it. The other thing is um, concerning the update itself. Um, some people on the May 2020 update, um, version 2004, say that they don't see it. They don't understand because it's the same version, like I said yesterday. Well, there could be little differences, little things that are uh, making it, um, you know, blocking it from your system for some reason. But one of the things that I've seen is that many uh, drivers have been updated yesterday. Uh, Intel uh, and... Um, NVIDIA AMD are actually gearing up. I know Intel released it, uh, but they're gearing up for specific version 20H2 uh, updates. So that is something to uh, check out and uh, think about because uh, sometimes drivers need to be updated and then the update goes through. Uh, for the others that don't see it also remember that Microsoft is uh, slowly sending it out so they're not kind of pushing it to everybody uh, some of you are probably compatible with it but when you check Windows update it might not show up simply because they're not offering it right now and the um, <clears throat> other thing to note is that you know it's not a big change you don't absolutely need to have it now just wait there's no urgency for anything here. Uh, just wait and it will eventually arrive to your PC. Uh, is it a big update? Uh, how many gigabytes? This is another question. Well, it is a very small update compared to a feature update, depending on what, from where you actually update from. And here's the trick. If you are on a 2019 version of Windows 10, if you're on 1903, 1909, if you're on a the October 2018 version of Windows 10, 1809. That update is a big gigabyte update. And the reason why is because you have to go through the version 2004 update, which is a huge feature update, before you can move on here. And what happens is that is going to give you a four gigabyte download. If you're on the May 2020 update, if you already are on the uh, first version of this year, version 2004. Now for you, that is a few hundred megabyte update. It's a small update because it's just a cumulative update. And that's the difference you got to understand. You're moving on from an old version of Windows. You will have a big feature update that will take, um, you know, a long time to install. You come from version uh, 2004. If you come from the May 2020 update, you are going to get a small cumulative update that takes minutes to install and is going to update to your, your system. Um, what is WinVer? How do you use it exactly and what does it mean? WinVer is for Windows version. It's a command within Windows. So you go to your search box and you type W-I-N-V-E-R. You will see command WinVer. When you click that, and run it, you will have this little panel. This gives you what version of Windows 10 you are operating. Here, Microsoft Windows version 20H2. 20H2 is the October 2020 update. They're now using this new way of giving out the version number in 20H2, 21H1, 
21H2, 22H1, 22H2. This is what's going to be forward on. What does it mean? 20H2 is for the year 2020. H2 means second half of 2020. Next year, that's going to be the same thing. So 21H1, if it happens, will be the first half of 2021. 21H2, second half of 2021, and so on. This is the new way they are now giving version numbers. If you're on the May 2020 update, you are at build 19041. If you're updated to the October 2020 update, you're at build 19042. It's a very small increment in the numbering because the numbers, the, the version numbers are actually the same. It's the same version. The October 2020 update is the May 2020 update. It just adds a cumulative update that turns on some features, tweaks a few little things and changes a few little things and that's it. But it's the same basic feature. So the ending will always be the same. Now when there's a update for one version, there'll be an update for the other version. And both versions will follow with the same ending. So it'd be 19041 or 19042, but dot the same ending. So right now both are at dot 572. It's the same ending because it's the same version. As for how fast the rollout will go, are you forced? If you're on a modern version that is not soon to be end of support, this is something that is an optional update. It's not forced on you. It will be forced on you only when you reach end of support. What's end of support? Well, end of support is when Windows 10 version you have will not receive uh, security updates anymore for Patch Tuesday. Windows 10 updates are typically 18 months in support. What that means is that the next versions to be actually out of support soon well if you're on 1809 which got extended support because of covid you are on uh, getting right now updates forced update to at least the may 2020 update because you are at end of support the last patch tuesday you'll get is in november in a few weeks from now if you're on the version of the May 2020 update, you also are end of support soon because that one is ending in December. So you both will be actually forced updated to probably at least the May 2020 update, but probably with the update it's going to bring on the uh, cumulative update. So you'll be on the October 2020 update. So if you have any questions, Anything you want to know, let us know. And uh, if needed, we'll do another questions and answer for the new version of Windows that came out yesterday, October the 20th, 2020, version 20H2, or what is known as the October 2020 update. Enjoy our videos. Please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.